Uh, I think it just shows that one game is separate from another, and uh, you just don't, you know, hang your head too much when you have a bad game, or you don't uh, allow one to turn into two. So um, this group has always bounced back well, <clears throat> you know, whether it's a reliever bouncing back from an outing or a, a hitter bouncing back from an at bat or a game. Um, you know, I think that's part of the culture and that's part of part of the identity of this team. This rotation is a lot of young pitchers who have not pitched in meaningful September games a little bit last year, but probably to another level uh, this year over the next month or so. What advice would you have for young pitchers making those starts in September and October? Yeah, I think the first time you go through, through September, it's harder. You know, it's the first time you've ever made 28, 29 starts. Uh, a lot of these guys are going to get to 30, uh, so it's going to be a, a lot bigger deal. But um, when it comes to the pressure part of it, um, you know, I think a lot of that you can easily bring on yourself, you know, on accident. You know, I think it's still got to remember that's still just a game. You know, it's still each game is still the same. You know, until you get to the playoffs and maybe you're in an elimination game where you lose and go home. You know, a loss doesn't necessarily, you know, hurt the team as much. So, you know, we put ourselves in a really good position where we're not needing to win every single game to keep pace. You know, we're put ourselves in a position where we play really good baseball down the stretch. We're going to win the division. So, um, you know, that's a that's a good place to be, and I think it's going to help. You know young guys or just anybody who maybe hasn't you know been in that scenario before are you a scoreboard checker during the game after the game or do you come to the ballpark and check out the standings on your way uh normally in game it's it's hard to ignore it anymore right um but i think there's more you know more pressure to it when you're you know when you're chasing somebody uh when you're out front um yeah it's always good to see the team behind you or the couple teams behind you not playing well but you still have to win the game. So you try to balance that with, you know, my watching the scoreboard to make sure that if we mess up, we're okay, or let's just win the game. We'll see what happens afterwards. What's impressed you the most about Grayson Rodriguez since his recall back to the big leagues? Oh, wow. Um, you know, I think, I think he is using his stuff a little bit better. Um, you know, I think he is, he's found a, a really good command of his fastball that has set up everything else. Um, he's always had really good stuff. I just think, you know, without putting words in his mouth, I just, I think maybe he was a little nervous. Maybe he felt a little bit extra pressure and, you know, maybe just made the situation a little bit bigger than they are. I've been there. Um, you know, it's, it's hard enough to do your job. Uh, it's really hard when you put a lot of pressure on yourself and you make it bigger than it really is. Um, he's just done a really good job of throwing strikes, getting ahead of guys and really making hitters make a decision because when you got a hundred in the tank and then you got three different offshoot pitches you can use, when you make him make a decision early, normally it's going to work out well for the pitcher.